All right, have you ever called someone the wrong name? Happens around here a lot. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you list off each of your kids before you get to the right one. Oh, we've all done it, but Heather Brown has been doing it a lot lately. So she wanted to know, why do we mix up names? Good question. Oh, and I'll say Nick McSara. It's Nicole, Michaela, and Sarah. Sometimes Luther is Lathan, and Lathan is Luther. That's like Steve Colton, Hunter Kelly. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, that's my husband. And she's like, Mom, how can you get me mixed up? <laughs> and I do it all the time. Before we get very far into this, is this something we need to worry about? No, not at all. Bridget Robinson Riegler is a cognitive psychologist. It's not a sign of anything bad, it's just normal. It's just like, in the chaos of whatever, right. your brain just kind of is like, Bleh. first of all, names are really, really hard to remember in general. We actually don't say names all that often. For example, Bridget's doctor, Rhonda. When I see her outside of the medical setting, mm -hmm. right, I am um, more likely to forget her name, but I'm unlikely to forget that she's a doctor. So I get Dr. Rhonda. But why are we messing our kids' names up? Because okay, so, I say those a lot. Yeah, and that's actually very, very common. I think that we get too quick to speak, and our brain doesn't isn't quite caught up with our mouth. So it's all based on how we set information up, or how we our information is represented in our memories. Our brains group similar people together. My mom calls me by my sister's name <laughs> all the time. So they get put into the same folder in your brain? Kind of, yeah, or at least are associated together, and then they compete at the time of retrieval. Uh. But it gets even worse. We're more likely to confuse names that sound alike. It's very close in, in how we pronounce your, your names. Yep. The THs and the L's. Yep. It's, it's my fault, ultimately, <laughs> you know. And how about people who share or shared similar roles? Have you ever called the teacher mom or dad? Yes. Oh, and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Have you ever called your partner by an ex's name? No. No. <laughs> Hi, Ross. Take the Emily. Take the Rachel. That wouldn't be good for him. They say, don't break up with someone because they call you by the wrong name. You might be missing out on a really good relationship, right? It's actually not their fault. It's not their fault. It's just a cognitive error. Brain fart. Yeah. Brain fart, for sure. So my kids should not be offended if I call them by the dog's name. In fact, what they should do is they should feel good because that means that you have them in the same network of animate objects that you truly love. <laughs> But that's just, you know, that's what parents do, kids do, you know. We, we're never perfect, and neither are the kids. No. Nope. Heather Brown. We're all human. WCCO. Absolutely. News. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that Heather has called her children by the dog name, too, because I do that often. Yeah. So it's normal. Well, <laughs> for you, too. Uh, our, well, maybe this is the reason. Our expert told Heather that if you're tired or stressed, you could be tired or stressed, and it makes things even worse. Mm-hmm. So. All right. T take a day <laughs> off and call them by the right name.